G'day, this is Mr. Thompson, and this is part three in designing your CO2 Dragster in Infusion. This will be a very quick video. Um, in this video, we're going to take our Dragster body, which we created in part two, and we're going to uh, print some templates that we can cut out and use to draw the shape on our balsa so that we can cut it out. Um, so let's, we're going to do that by creating a drawing. So I'm going to go up here to File and uh, New Drawing from Design. Okay, now uh, we're going to use the manual setting there. Uh, I'm going to keep all of these default. The only thing we have to be careful about is the, the sheet size. Now, if you've got access to an A3 printer, then use A3. Um, at school, I know we've got an A3 printer, so we can use that. Uh, at home here, where I'm recording this video, I don't have an A3 printer. I've only got an A4 printer, so I'm going to choose A4 because I need this drawing to be full size. So um, you've got to choose the sheet size for the paper that you're going to print it to. Um, all right, so I'm going to click OK there. Like I say, if you've got an A3 printer, you choose A3. I'm choosing A4 because I don't have an A3 printer at home. I've only got an A4 printer. Okay, and here's our drawing. Now you can see it wants to be, wants me to place a base view, so I'm just going to plonk that right there. Now that's a back view. Um, well, actually, it says front view. Um, so I'm just going to change that to make it a right view. Um, so I'm looking at it from side on, and also the scale is one to five. Now this is if we're going to build a template that we're going to cut out and use to you know, to cut out our dragster, it's got to be full size. So it's got to be one to one. So I'm just going to change that scale to one to one. Um, and you know what that'll do? I'm going to go OK like that. And that's so there's my side view. Now I need a top view. Uh, so I'm going to come up here to projected view. Click on that and click on uh, click and release on my side view and then come up up here and click and release and then come and press that uh, that green tick there. Uh, and there's my top view. So I've got a top view and a side view. Um, so all that remains now is to print those. So file and print. Now when we're printing, uh, we need to make sure we've got a, a the correct scale. Um, just waiting for the dialog box to come up. Well, what's going on here? See if I can find it. There we go, it was in the background. I just had to alt tab to it. Okay. Um, so um, here at scale, just be careful, don't choose fit to paper um, because we want, don't want to do that. We want a one-to-one -one scale. If you choose fit to paper, it'll sort of change the size of the sheet to accommodate for the unprintable borders around the paper. You don't want to do that. So you want one-to-one -one scale. Um, if your printing is a little bit offset, like it's off to one side, um, you might want to change this X and Y back to zero and zero so it's centered. Um, I'll show you what I mean. If I've got 10 there, see how it shifts it from side to side? So you can play with those if you need to offset it. Uh, but I don't need to. I just want those as zero. Uh, paper size is A4. Printing the current sheet. So now I can print. And out of my printer now will come a full-sized uh, drawing of the top and the side view. So then I can cut them out and I can use them to draw the outline on the side and on the bottom of my blank so that I can then go into the workshop and uh, and cut out uh, my balsa accurately so that I've got the uh, uh, the dragster body shape that I've designed. All right, I said it was going to be a short video. That's it.